Hey everyone, dude, it's Jude here, back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video, and Season 20 is um, in full swing. It's August, new month, new season. It's also World Season, so the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2023 is also underway in this month, so that's pretty cool. But for now, since a new season has arrived, I would like to make another deck recommendation video and this time we're gonna talk about the best trap decks in master duel right now so we have seven trap decks here that um encompass all kinds of uh really good trap mechanics really good trap deck gameplay and um we're gonna show some of the best deck lists here and yeah i hope you like some of the deck lists here and try them out so first off we have labyrinth so labyrinth just recently got its full support so far with uh with lady labyrinth of the silver castle arriving alongside big welcome labyrinth so this greatly expands the playability of labyrinth lady lab is a powerful boss monster that prevents um herself from being targeted just as long as there's a set card and when you activate a normal trap you can set any normal trap from deck just as long as she is on the field so along with that you have the stellar furniture which uh lever kuklok can activate one normal trap card that is set that turn stovey and chandelier allow you to set from deck by discarding them and another card Ariana is a uh, straight up searches elaborate card, so that's really cool. And to round up the uh, to round up the monster here, we're gonna have a little Ishizu engine just to shuffle back resources from our end or shuffle back opponent graveyard resources. For the pots, we have just three pot effects traps, so just for the search and across one field spell, you don't really need more than one. Eradicator Epidemic Virus because this is pretty much an FTK against uh, against spell and trap decks. D Barrier and Dogmatic Punishment and IDP for your usual trap tech. And then we have the Solemn. So you have Skill Drain just to shut down anything just in case. We have the three Welcome and three Big Welcome just to um get your Labyrinth monsters out of there. The extra deck is pretty simple. These are Dogmatic Punishment targets like Elder Entity and Tis. Wind Pegasus Attic Mister. We have Baguska since we have some level 4s. Mirio Logic Aggregator for another GY target and just some generic um, links here just in case you need them. So yeah, Labyrinth is arguably the best trap deck in Master Duel and if you're looking to play a trap deck strategy um there's no better way to do it than running labyrinth so that's one next up another deck that has received new support it's trap tricks so trap tricks is a pretty powerful trap deck uh ever since despite the lack of support over the years until master duel tcg and ocg recently got the awesome um new trap tricks cards that came from the irl structure deck which gave the deck new life and turned it into a trap deck that can also play a mid-range role so trap tricks uh for the ratios here we have some Mer mermaleo for the main starter dianea for an extender trap tricks mantis trap tricks pudica allows you to uh extend even more adds a level four body and you can search the field spell, the all new field spell that can normal summon. You have Trap Tricks, Arachnocampa, that also works as an extender slash disruption, which is really cool. And then we have Parallel Exceed because this deck is pretty much all level fours. So, you know, add another level four to the mix to make your rank force. And then the best part about Trap Tricks, you can run Trap Holes with it. So we can go Bottomless Trap Hole and a classic Trap Hole card. Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, which negates a special summon. Time Space Trap Hole, which uh, spins a monster into the deck. Floodgate Trap Hole permanently puts monsters face down. We have three Imperm here just in case. Grave Diggers Trap Hole. Denies hand and graveyard effects and burns the opponent, which is always nasty. 
and then a terrifying trap hole nightmare just another hole that removes um a big monster and then we finally have trap tricks Holotea, which is a trap card that works as a level four extender by discarding a normal trap and then you can also banish this card from your graveyard and special summon a trap tricks monster from your graveyard which is really cool so you they get a really fresh new extender and two new really cool cards so for the extra deck lineup we have just the abyss dweller time t for doer baguska for the generic level fours we have spring and Smear maker to make sargas which is also cool xc's deck you need zeus we have two trap tricks with Flesia, which copies a trap hole and that just uh that's pretty much a costume card alongside sarah sarah when a trap trap uh card is activated you can special summon a trap tricks monster from deck if another trap tricks monster's effect is activated you can set the whole normal trap directly from deck this is pretty much a custom card it's a link one it's broken but it's really powerful for its archetype we have Trap Tricks Alumirus, another really strong level 4, Detach 2, and you can do a Monster Reborn. And you can also uh, extend with this or recover from this, which is really cool. And then you have Trap Tricks Pingukula, which allows you to um, add one Trap Tricks monster from your deck to your hand. A really good extender, really powerful, 2-5 attack as well. And then finally, we have Traffic Scolaria, which is uh, just a generic Link 2 for your uh, Link 2 needs. But you can also go into Trap Tricks Atipus, which also has a uh, targeted negate by banishing a normal trap. And you have a once per turn uh, face up negate, which is pretty cool. But then again, Trap Tricks is already powerful enough with its whole traps. But yeah, if you're also looking for a new trap deck that, you know, is kind of a bit uh, cheaper than the usual Labyrinth, you can go with this. It's a bit hefty on the UR side of the extra deck, but the whole traps and the main deck is pretty cheap. Just as long as you have the staples and you can really run a lot of good games with this deck. Next up, we have Dynamorphia. So Dynamorphia has been here for a while and it's still missing its powerful uh, counter trap which is dynamorphia and tap which is coming to master duel quite soon hopefully but we're gonna go with dynamorphia and dynamorphia is one of the best fusion trap decks in the game and the main win condition here is to bring out rex term to pretty much have a walking skill drain on the field and set a powerful disruption like Dynamorphia Sonic and Dynamorphia Brute. And you have really strong recovery tools like Dynamorphia Alert. But for this build, we're going to run a small Labyrinth engine which has one Lady Labyrinth and three big welcome just for the grind game and extension and another big level eight to add to the field. So for the monsters here, we have Miscellaneousaurus to protect a dinosaur and also works as a uh, special summon from deck if you have it on the graveyard. Three Teresa to set traps directly from deck, which are Dynamorphia cards. Dynamorphia Duplos can foolish burial any Dynamorphia card. And then we have the main search, Fossil Dig for Dinosaurs, two Pot of Duality, one Prosperity. We have uh, Eradicator Epidemic here just because we have access to big bodies that can be tributed for its uh, effect. You have three ferret flames, which is pretty much a dynamorphia card because it bounces from deck um, any pretty much any monster in the game. Next we have trap trick. So trap trick allows you to search any trap card from your deck and activate it in the same turn. Of course, the drawback is you can only activate one trap card after trap trick resolves, which is still fine. Dynamorphic domain, your first main fusion trap. And the Frenzy is your second fusion trap, but I would argue that Frenzy is the best uh, trap fusion to add uh, with Theresia. Next, we have uh, Dynamorphia Alert for recovery, Monster Reborn. Dynamorphia Brute for destroying uh, problematic floodgates or field spells. 
And finally, Dynamorphous Sonic to negate spells and traps. And then you have Solid Judgment to negate. Um, pretty much say no to anything. And Solemn Strike to for your generic monster negate. Or usually just to negate hand traps when you're trying to fusion. Extra deck is pretty simple. 3 Kentrogena. Kentrogena is your main boss monster that allows you to copy normal Dynamorphic trap cards. Allow you to extend or go into more fusions. Silpergia is mostly used as a fusion material, but it has a pretty neat burn effect that allows you to um, do a lot of damage. And then finally, you have Rexstorm, a walking skill drain, dependent on your life points. For uh, other extra deck targets, we have Psychic End, because you can make Psychic End using Ash Blossom plus Rexstorm, or Ash Blossom plus Lady, which is pretty cool. Then you got a really huge beat stick that works as an OTK tool. Next up, we have the Evil Czar. Slagia is like a walking solemn judgment. Evil Czar Dolka is a not once per is a non once per chain monster negate. Just as long as it has materials, you can just keep on adding, keep on negating. Next, we have Abyss Dweller for graveyard decks, Baguska for a lot of other decks, and Coldbreaker Virus Swordsman just in case your opponent also has a Baguska. So Dynamorphia is a really powerful deck. It's a bit more on the expensive side, 360 UR, without the Labyrinth cards, of course. But yeah, but if you want a really fun fusion trap strategy that has uh, really powerful interactions, you can go with Dynamorphia. Next up, we have Eldritch. So Eldritch has been a mainstay in Master Duel for pretty much a year. The first season of Master Duel, Eldritch was one of the best decks in the game. But so far, it has fallen off recently. But despite that, it's still a deck that can run powerful cards and powerful floodgates and still win the grind game. So we have the two Golden Lord here for the U for the main monster. 3 Heavenly Prison to protect your back row. 3 Extra because the deck doesn't really care about the extra deck. 1 Eldritch Surf Black Awakening for uh, few, for summoning an Eldritch from deck just in case. 3 Curse Eldland which is pretty powerful. You can Foolish and then you know just allow you to start your place. White Destiny another Monster Reborn-ish type. Threshold Tribute is really good for Eldritch because it allows you to board break without risking too many of your resources eradicator epidemic virus you can tribute heavenly prison to just fdk a spell or trap deck scarlet sanguine your main starter that allows you to just summon eldritch from pretty much anywhere dogmatic punishment and ice dragon's prison for your removal tech solemn judgment and solemn strike for your main negations and you also have golden land forever for an omni negate <clears throat> Next, we have Floodgates, Revelry of Warguards, Skill Drain, and Ghost and Matches to lock down your opponent from stopping them from playing anything. Mind Drain is also really good because it prevents hand effects. And then finally, you have the other two Eldritch Contraps, which is Tokero and Conquistador. Conquistador pops a card, Tokero bounces, uh, uh, banishes a card from Graveyard. And then we have the usual. Um, Dogmatic punishment targets like Elder Entity and Tis. In the extra deck, you have Garura, Wind Pegasus, you have Consular Pleiades because you have level 5 continuous traps that are light, so you can use this. Muriel Logic Aggregator, I'm not gonna get that right in this video, aren't I? But yeah, for uh, Dogmatic punishment, and then you have the Train Package because you're running level 10s, and then a Zeus since you're running Xyz, and then other generic links that you can use here. But yeah, Eldritch is really good. But now we go to the next one. We're gonna go with Altergeist. So Altergeist is still missing its newest support in uh, Duelist Nexus. But hey, Altergeist is still pretty powerful. It's still pretty nasty as a trap deck. You have access to Altergeist Manifestation, Protocol, and Personal Spoofing, which just allows you to disrupt using your Altergeist monsters like Meloseek, which sends a card to graveyard when you attack directly which is pretty crazy you have uh Silquitus, which allows you to bounce a card and then multifigure which is the heart and soul of the deck allows you to just uh special summon an alter guys monster from your deck and just go into your link place and you have marionetter 
which sets an outer guy's trap directly from deck and then you have conquery for uh, another battle phase monster which is pretty cool so outer guys is pretty strong grindy strategy it may not be as powerful as the other trap decks that we mentioned previously but once this gets new support this becomes a really powerful deck that can contend for rogue for the pots, we have Extrav and Prosperity, which is pretty cool. You have the anti hand trap tech. Uh, we're not mostly focusing on the other generic staples here. We want to focus on the deck. Next, we have Altergeist Manifestation, allows you to extend and use this as an equip card, which is pretty cool. You have the Solemn Brigade, which is much needed for this meta. You have Altergeist Pearl Call, which is one of the hardest uh, cards to play around or play through because this is a pretty much uh powerful negate by tributing um an altar guy's card which is pretty crazy or sending which is pretty crazier okay you have uh, personal spoofing which uh can shuffle an altar guy's card from your hand or deck and br um bring it back to your deck so really powerful recovery tool and also add another alter guys monster from deck to hand which also works as an extender now for the extra deck we have generic links here you can go to hex tail which is a pretty powerful um kind of beat stick sometimes you have alter guys prime banshee which allows you to special summon an alter guys monster from your deck to your zone the prime banshee points to just in case another extender and finally you have alter guys memory gant which is your main boss monster for the deck for now which allows you to close for game but then again you can just go hextia and personal spoofing and you're pretty much uh good to go and along with protocol you pretty much have a strong negate tool so alter guys will be stronger real soon and i think this will be higher in the trap deck rankings once it has that new support next up we have sub terror so sub terror is a pre affordable budget deck which <clears throat> revolves around using Subterra Guru's powerful flip effect which is pretty much a rota and also allows you to uh, just keep using that flip effect while gaining advantage by adding Hidden City which is their powerful field spell and you can go Subterra Final Battle which has like three effects that allows you to attack for game allows you to trigger other subterror effects or reset your subterror guru so we're gonna go with the subterror cards here so three fiendish which is uh kind of like their own archetype hand trap negate so it's pretty cool nemesis archer another uh offensive tool just in case you need it and also can special summon an all a subterror monster from your deck for uh and face down defense position which is pretty cool next we have subterra guru the heart and soul of the deck uh allows you to add any subterra card from deck to hand and just allows you to win the grind game a lot just as long as it's it can be flipped you have two dimension shifter here this is a shifter deck which uh hates graveyard strategy so you can go pot of duality here since you're not really special summoning you can also go extravagance for the search and then the prosperity so you have six pots to work with next you have the hidden city which is pretty much the uh main spell card of the deck which allows you to add the subterra monster and allows you to flip a subterra monster face down and negate an attack which allows you to extend the grind game even more and annoy your opponent a bit Next we have Subterra Final Battle. Final Battle has three effects which allows you to set a Subterra monster or flip it face up and boost its attack. So this is pretty cool and also prevents Subterra cards to be from negation which is pretty crazy. So yeah, Subterra Final Battle is pretty good. You have Dogmatic Punishment and Ice Dragon for your tech, the Solemn Brigade which is in every trap deck here I think. And then Summon Limit to slow your opponent down. And then a goes in match for good measure. The extra deck is pretty much generic ones that we mentioned. Worth noting that this can run the Zodiac package and go into Zeus with a lot of materials. But yeah, Subterra is a pretty good budget deck which allows you to have a really solid, dependable grind game. 
if you're if you want to play a bit of old school Yu-Gi-Oh and play flip decks, this is the best one. Lastly, we have uh, the good old stun strategy. So stun is pretty much um, a deck that runs floodgates and floodgate monsters. D shifter restricting your opponent. Okay, moon mirror shield just to annoy them even more. Pretty much a deck to annoy people who play Master Duel. People who play Yu-Gi-Oh in general because we have Thunder Ryo, which is a walking droll and lockbird and. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can send this card and negate a special summon. Patchy Cephalo, which just prevents both players from special summoning. And Inspector Border with an effect that's kind of complicated, but just is a floodgate if you don't have an extra deck monster type on field. You have Heavenly Prison to protect this nasty back row. You have three extravagance to search Moon Mirror to keep your... Uh, Monsters attack on field hefty enough. Solemn Brigade just for the engage. You can go Dark Bribe here. Anti Spell Fragrance to kill spell decks. Skill Drain to just kill most of the monster decks. Macro Cosmos to have a banish Floodgate Summon Limb to slow them down even more. Soul Drain to prevent graveyard effects. And then Mind Drain for hand effects. And then the nastiest one here. There can be only one. You can only play one monster of each type. And the extra deck here doesn't really matter. It's just generic um, extra deck monsters. You can just run this with the main deck. Just as long as you have the targets for extravagance. But yeah, stun is nasty and it's pretty much the craziest uh, yet most affordable strategy here, even in real life. Now, I guess that's it for the best trap decks in the game. Now, if you have any other trap decks that you'd like to recommend, you can leave a comment below. And you can, if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and subscribe and even share this video to your friends. That helps the channel grow really fast. Thank you so much for that. And I guess that's it for the best trap decks here. There are seven trap decks here uh, that we mentioned, but I think there would be more cool trap decks in the future, especially in real life that would come to MD real soon. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So bye guys.